Hey guys, it's Tape the Grape here. Um, well, anyway, a couple hours ago, the damn Sundance died on us. We uh, we tried uh, test driving to see if that part fixed it. Apparently, it didn't. So I'm back here a couple hours later. Um, not only that, look at the window. This happened once before. Let me show you when I try and roll it down. Look at that. It's off track now. It's happened once before. I was able to fix it. Hopefully, I'll get it. But all I'm worried about now is trying to hook the battery up and seeing if it'll start again so I can drive it home. Well, anyway, let me put the battery terminals back on. We keep them off because, you know, it has the battery drain or whatever. Well, anyway, let me close the hood just in case. It does start, and that way I can just immediately drive it home. Let me get the keys out of my pocket. All right, now. And nope. All right, I'm gonna try and start it. Nothing. Don't know what it is, but we'll have to push it back home. Well, we finally pushed it home. We actually originally pushed it up front in my front yard. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Vado575 because he came by, stopped or stopped by, and actually took a look at it. He, uh, we were able to get it started. It wasn't wanting to start at first. We, we, he was like cranking it, and then he was like pressing his uh, foot down on the accelerator because it seemed to be like flooded or whatever you want to call it. However, however you describe it, I'm not sure, or however he described it. Well, anyway, um, was able to start it. We took it for a short test drive. It died on him while he uh, was test driving it, but he did the same thing. You know, pressed the uh, accelerator to get it started. Little kitty over there. But anyway, um, it started back up at the stoplight. So he said, it, he do, now he doesn't know for sure, because obviously it could be many different things. Um, he said it could potentially be a vacuum issue, because it did die when he was like turning the steering wheel, which, you know, kind of normally idles the engine down slightly when it's got a vacuum problem or something along those lines. He might have thought it could have been the fuel pump, but it started working, so, you know. So it's still, we still don't know exactly what's wrong with it, but hopefully eventually we'll get it figured out. And I gotta be honest with you guys, or I gotta be real for a second. Give me one second so I can turn the camera around. Now on a real note, if it ends up not being, or if we are not able to find out exactly what's wrong with it, or if it's gonna be, you know, an arm and a leg, or if we're just gonna keep tracing parts, replace this part, replace that part, this, that, this, that, back and forth, uh, we're, we're probably gonna have to sell it, and my fiance will get a different uh, car. But, uh, cause you know, we just don't have the money to afford to keep replacing basically rebuilding the entire car now from what the Vado 575 said these engines are pretty um, simple there's very few things that well what can't what there's very few things to go wrong with them when they do but uh you know uh, we, we might just have to sell it but for now we're not um, we'll see what happens though well, anyway, this was Tape the Grape, and Vado 575's link will be down in the description. Go check them out. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.